Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm the review man. How's everybody doing today? Hope y'all had a great turkey dinner or whatever you eat during the holidays. Today's movie is one I've been wanting to do for a long time. I mean, this is a great John Hughes movie. And it's starring uh, Steve Martin and John Candy. Steve, it's called, and if you know what I'm talking about, it's called Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. This is one of the great, one of the greatest buddy travel movies ever. Sorry, kind of my Thanksgiving dessert here. But this is the one of the best travel book buddy movies, holiday films. I was trying to think of an idea about what to do for a Thanksgiving video. I mean, I did this sort of South Park video earlier. It's it's on my page if you want to go check it out. But it, <coughs> I couldn't really think of anything to do. But I was flipping through the channel the other day, and this movie came on. So, without further ado, here is the review slash story of planes, trains, and automobiles. Now, well, Steve Martin plays this um plays this executive that works at like a that works at like a uh, production company for like a magazine or whatever, and he's just trying to get home for th Thanksgiving, and he's hailing a taxi cab. Sorry. Probably wonder why I'm eating here. It's a it's a uh Hawaiian it's a roll. Well, it's got cooking it. I mean it, it's pretty good. Probably gain a hundred pounds here. <laughs> no. Not that much. But anyway, he's trying to hail a taxi cab out of New York. And then he gets to the airport. The flights are being delayed. And he runs into this guy named Dale Griffith, who is a shower curtain salesman. Yes, shower curtains. Well, these aren't curtains, but they're going to shower. And Dale decides to they get on the plane. And they decide to help him get home for, they get to know each other. Nothing on this trip goes right for either one of them. But, uh, but from their plane being delayed to a train breaking down. I would say the only thing that does go right in this movie is whenever they're in the first truck trying to get Trying to get down the road. But other besides that, nothing goes right in this movie. Hardly anything goes right. They stay in the hotel, and Dale and, and uh, Neil and Dale, they're kind of at each other's throats because Neil's already ticked off with Dale. I mean, Dale paid, with, they, Dale paid for the room, but uh, Neil's already ticked off with Dale. And Dale delivers the most epic epic quotes in movie history. Goes a little bit something like this. You want to hurt me? Go ahead and make me feel any better. I'm an easy target. I could be a whole cold heart cynic like you. But I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. I like me. My my customers like me. My, my wife likes me. I could be a cold heart cynic like you. But I'm the real McCoy. What you see is what you get. And so Steve... Uh, uh, Neil was feeling a little bad about uh, what he just said. So they just, they uh, they could fall asleep in the room. They get robbed because this guy breaks into the room. They get robbed. And the next morning, the next day at lunch, or whenever they're in this little diner, they, uh, they uh, Neil thinks that Dale stole some, stole some money from him. And Dale's like, I didn't steal anything. I got 200 and some odd dollars in my wallet. Here, you count it. If there's anything there, I'm a thief. 
So he, uh, Neil counts the money. He gets he got robbed too. They both got robbed. So this guy took about nearly a thousand dollars from their uh, from their uh, from their wallets. And so the movie's going on. They're trying to they're they're on the train. The train breaks down. So what they decide to do is they uh what they did, what they do is they go they go get another car. They're driving down the road and shit, antics ensue in this movie. From anything from the car breaking down to them driving on the wrong side of the road to cars blowing up and burning down. But and so um so they're all they're going from the road to hotels to uh and while this is going on you see uh, Neil's family is like dealing with uh, making like Thanksgiving dinner and uh, and Neil's daughter is uh, doing this little Thanksgiving play to show them what she's thankful for and she said I'm I'm Betty P I think I think her name was Betty I'm I'm uh, and I'm thankful for my daddy coming home for Thanksgiving because Neil's uh, job as a Neil's job as an executive has him on the road traveling a lot, and him and Dale are, are start getting to know each other throughout this entire movie. They start talking about wives and all this other stuff, and he's like, "I haven't been home in years. I, no, I haven't been home in months." Dale said, "I haven't been home in years," and so uh, Neil was not thinking anything about it. And so the movie's going on. They're they're traveling, making their way. He can't get a ride. He can't get a ride uh, on an airplane. And so uh, he's like, he he gets in an argument with the with the flight with the ticket taker at the at the airport. Played by the, you know y'all know y'all guys know the woman from Paris Bueller the the uh, Grace the nurse. No, Grace, the, uh, the principal's assistant. That's who plays in this movie. She also played in Elvira, Mistress of the Night. I can't think of her name. If y'all if y'all can think of her name, leave it in the comments. But I can't think of her name to save my life. But I know the actress, who she is. So anyway, the movie's going on. They're, uh, he's like, I can't get a car to save my life. And Dill was like, I didn't have any problem getting a car. And Neil says, of course you didn't. So they're driving down the road. They're both making their way. Uh, Neil Neil falls asleep, and Dell he fall he uh, starts driving. He drives on the wrong side of the road, and these two people are driving on the other side. They say, "You're going on the wrong side of the road. You're going the wrong way." And Dell thinks that they're drunk. He's like, "Yeah, okay, okay, you're drinking earlier." And see, they see these two uh, they see these two tractor trailers coming straight at him, and he's like, "Ah!" And he's like. Ah. And Dale looks at him, and he see, you no know, Neil looks at Dale, and he's the, and he sees like the devil, and Neil's like ha, Dale ha ha, and he's then they think the car is unscathed. The track trailer just keep on going, they didn't see anything, they didn't stop or anything, and then he gets out of the car, he's like, oh. he said, at least we got the car. Help me get my bags out of the car. Look at the car, car car burns up. And then he's like, yeah, that's your bump out. That's your bump out. And he's like, okay, Dale, where's my credit card? I didn't take your credit card. I gave it back to you. Where's that? It's in the car. And he looks at it, and um, it's just burned up. It's burned up. Everything, everything's burned up in this in the car. And so what they what they do is they just start driving to shell up the car. <gasps> they drive it to this hotel, and uh, and the uh, rooms. Per night, or like forty-three dollars. Y'all have to remember, this is like in the nineteen eighties. Everything was a lot cheaper that back then, because of because inflation wasn't so high. But this is like the one that, and I think it was like the nineteen eighties or nineteen ninety. It was in there. Anyway, movies going on, and they get to the hotel, and there's there was only enough for him to pay for one night. And by this time. They're all like, Neil was just ready to get home. Dale was ticked. He's talking.
talking. He's ticked. And yeah. So Dale's Neil is getting ready to go to bed. He looks outside in the shell of the car and he yells to Dale, You know what, you're gonna freeze, why don't you come on in? And so what they do is they have like a conversation about the wives and everything else and about life in general. And so yeah, um then the next morning they get ready to uh they're they're having some they're having some breakfast and then they get, then he takes them to the train station and then he but but before that this all happens they uh before this all happens they're driving down the road and this policeman stops them and he said do y'all know how what kind of car is this and he's like oh we had some we had some trouble but uh, earlier we had a little bit of car fire but we we pretty much salvaged it, salvaged everything and if y'all seen the movie y'all know what I'm talking about but if you haven't go check it out I think it's on might be on it's gonna be on TV throughout the holidays because it's a holiday movie. So anyway, the movie's going on, and then he's like, what kind of car is this? And so the car gets impounded, and because it's unsafe to drive, and they go to the, uh, they go to the, the train station, and they both part ways, and he's like, happy Thanksgiving, say happy Thanksgiving to your kids, and say happy Thanksgiving to your wife. And wish wish them all the best for me. And they're like, yeah, we'll do that. He's sitting on the, and then Neil hops on, sits on the train, leaving Dale, leaving Dale on the, uh, on the train track. And so, he's just sitting there thinking about his kids, thinking about everything. And then he's got guys to thinking about it, the little adventure that him and Dale had. And then he's like, and he got to thinking, and then he's like, I haven't been home in years. And this, that, and the third thing. And so, next thing we see is the train turning around, pulling back into the station. And then he said, what are you doing here, Dale? I thought you were going home. What are you doing here? And Dale was like, I'm home. I don't have a home. My wife died eight years ago. And then, uh, Neil was like, Neil had to look at him. He's like, come on. He takes, he takes Neil home. He takes Dale home for things to meet the family and all this. Because Neil Dale was a big part of him getting home. He may have been a pain in the butt, but he was a big part of him getting home. So they introduce him to the family, and that's pretty much where the movie ends was him getting home. And this was a pretty good movie. It's one of my favorites. It's one of the heart touching movies. So yeah, and it stars a lovable John Candy. The the excellent uh, Steve Martin. I wish they would have done like a second Plane Strange and Automobiles, where it could have been where uh, Neil was help could help uh, could help Dale get like a better job and house and all that, and ha help him get back to help him get like a steady job and all that. I would, they should have done another movie. If, I bet you if John Candy was still alive, they would have done a second movie, but. It would have been a, this could have been a good, uh, if they would have done the second movie, it could have been good. I mean, really. Playing strings and automobiles about them getting, or John Candy could have went into, Dale could have, uh, went into business with, uh, with, um, with Neil. It was so many possibilities. They could have had, like, playing strings and automobiles, they could have went to a, it's a sequel, they could have went to, like, a meeting or something. Who knows? Who knows the possibilities of what could have been. But yeah, anyway, guys. I'm the Review Man. You are you. Thank you for watching. Let me know what y'all thought of this movie. If you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm sure it's like in a $5 bin at Walmart or something. Heck, it's Black Friday tomorrow. So it may be in a bin somewhere. Or whatever. So I'm the Review Man. You are you. Thank you for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. And I will see y'all guys in the next video. Have a good one.